On call to order the full commission meeting of January 8th, 2020. The first order of business is the election of officers. The floor is open for the nomination of chair. I would like to nominate Anthony Grumbine for chair. I would second. Okay. Do we have any other nominations? I make a motion that nominations are closed. Okay. All those in favor of electing? I second that motion. I did. We had a second. Oh, second. Yeah, it was second from... Um, all those in favor of electing uh, Commissioner Grumbine as chair, say aye. 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 Motion passes. I would, go, I, would, I would go so far as to say that I think that, that Commissioner Grumbine has been a very good chair. I'm in complete agreement. I didn't want to put that on television. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say that he's been a very good chair, and, and I, I look forward to you doing it for another year. Thank That's you. why I nominated yes. him. <laughs> here. Oh, thank you. Um, I'll do um, my best. And then um, the uh, next nomination is for the nomination of vice chair. Do we have any nominations for vice chair? I'll make a nomination of Steve House as vice chair. I'll second, second that. Do a second. Thank all those all. in favor of electing Commissioner House as vice chair say aye. 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 Motion passes. Okay, so let's get rolling on another year. Um, all right, so now we have uh, 2020 appointment of item B, 2020 appointment of consent rev review representatives and subcommittees. So um, we have our list here of all the subcommittees that we're on. Um, and there was a question about one of the subcommittees, I think. The designations. Designations. What sub exactly does that entail? So um, as I understand it, Every, any one of us could um, nominate something for designation. Any, any of the commissioners can. Um, but this meets, what, twice a year? Yeah. Um, so Chair Grumbine and then uh, Commissioner Drury, the designation subcommittee um, essentially reviews um, different properties prior to them coming before the full commission for review. Um, so that, w that one we would obviously want to keep. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And it, and all four of them meet, right? That's correct. And, and that, so, so that meeting is open to the public? Um, no, it is, it is a meeting that we have here, and it's not, a, it's not a quorum, so it's not the full HLC. It's just reviewing different properties in advance of it coming before the full commission. So it's Grumvine, Uli, Vena, and Lamvik? That's correct. Right. And, and it's been That's twice correct. a year. Is it officially twice? I think it's been twice a year, maybe Three times a year. Miss Hernandez is kind have of a as needed, of where there's a yeah. batch. And I'll make a motion to designate Grumbine, Uli, Vena, and Lenvik to designation committee. I'll second that motion. Okay. Um, Our, so, Mr. Chair, what I would suggest, if there's, if after looking at this list, if there's any changes, for example, if you are on a list and you are on one of the committees and you do not want to be on there any longer or um, if you feel someone else would be more appropriate, um, that's really uh, what we're looking to see. Otherwise, this list will stay the same for 2020. So then we just make one motion at the end? That's correct. Yeah. So, so, so in, in design awards, Drury and I have been doing that. We didn't realize that Lindvik was part of us. Uh, is, is that a three-man committee? <laughs> Um, Mr. Chair and then Commissioner Mann, it doesn't necessarily have to be three. Um, if it just if you be just want to have two, that's fine. Um, yeah. you know. So we could have two and have Lenvik as a, as a uh, alternate. As an alternate, we can do that. Because we're kind of okay. up to speed on everything for that. Okay, and wh why don't we do this? Why don't because we don't? It's we have a little bit of extra time today. Um, why don't we just go through one at a time quickly um, each of the. Um, subcommittees and, and d the different committees mm -hmm. and let's see I'll have a quick little discussion on if there's anyone that wants to join it or, or adjustments like you just did on that I think we might want to do that in all of them just quickly um, and then if anyone wants to join that and if we have some space that's a perfect opportunity to join on to it and and because uh, as well a number of the commissioners were new last year um, so Commissioner Nemec and and Uli's already on some, but and Edmonds. So if there are things that, especially if you, uh, the newer commissioners want to um, join on to as well, um, you know, now is a, t a good time to. Mr. Chair. Yep. I'd, I'd, I'd like to stay on as as a consent calendar. Mm -hmm. I enjoy okay, great. It very, I enjoy it. Very, I I meet so many people that I don't otherwise see. Mm. 
from my from you know colleagues that, that don't come to this regular meeting but do come to the consent calendar. It's quite quite a nice experience. Okay, that's great. If you're up for that, yeah. I'm sorry, Chair Grumman. Could you add to that maybe a one sentence explanation of what some of these committees are? Or sure. Yeah. So the. Yep, absolutely. So the, we'll do a quick little explanation of what they are and how often they meet, maybe, as well, um, so that there's certain understanding. So the consent calendar, of course, is every right before our meeting at 11 on the same day. Um, and Commissioner Mahan, that, that's great that you'll, you're up for handling it again. Um, and, and then for, and Commissioner Vena is the landscape architect for it. And I think we, in general, know what the consent calendar does. And then the alternates are myself. And for landscape is Mahan, um, and so shouldn't Mr. Nemec be an alternate for landscape? I think he should. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Are you up for that? Yeah. Okay. That would be better. And you, that usually probably happens a couple times a year, right? Where there, where someone that can't, the the main can't do the yeah. do the all. So you. And I, I, I guess coming, I've attended a couple last year anyway. Oh, perfect. Uh, okay. Great. Thank you for that. Um, and then, uh, okay, so then the sign committee is uh, Drury with House as alternate. And how often does the sign committee meet? We meet the, Wednesday, the Tuesday after the HLC meeting, so the next week on Tuesday, and 9 o'clock in the morning. And you, and you basically review all the mm -hmm. signs that, yes. of that two-week period that have come before. Yeah, we have good staff and a, a good chair. So, okay. And then um, Jaime Limon came back and... He gives his more than two cents. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. he's, he's pro neon signs, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, so, any more about the sign committee? Is everyone good? Drury in house? You guys are good for that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tree, Street Tree Advisory Committee. It's Vena with a second of Nemec. And is, are, are you still yes. both good, mm -hmm. good with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, <clears throat> How often does that meet? And no, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy one. <laughs> I'd like to say so and so, but we've, I, I don't, I'm not aware we've met. <laughs> okay, so that that's an easy one. That's a that's however a t ball pitch. I'll, I'll, I'll be on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, great. Um, and I think that that was that's done to uh, for when like the the drought issues or other things come up that there's a committee that can. Yeah. So, Mr. It. Chair, it's as sort of more as needed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Art Advisory Committee. We have Drury and alternate as House. And you are the most accomplished artist. I, in the well, room, I don't so. know about that, but <laughs> I have I have no idea if this even is still a committee. I mean, we should keep it on the list, but I haven't been called to a meeting for a year and a half. Okay. So he but wields I'm, a main, mean paintbrush, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. It's. it's Seems like it's still good to keep it on, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then on to our subcommittees. Um, we have design awards we just talked about. So we'll put Lenvik as an alternate, and Drury and Mahan are the <coughs> main appointed. Uh, designations. Uh, we have Grumbine, Uli, Vena, and Lenvik. Um, does anyone, is there anyone that wants? Um, Mr. Chair, I'd like to be on that designation subcommittee so, mr. chair um, we can't have a quorum so if if uh, if um, one of the four wants to relinquish their position so jury could be an appointed member that um, would be okay but we can't have more than four on that on that designation Back. subcommittee I can I can always you want to be as alternate I can be an alternate. Be an alternate. Yeah, so I think a fair number of times there's not actually everyone yeah. there, or everyone can't make it because they. We have okay. To yeah. It please. So then that okay. You can be a listener. <laughs> a listener? Yeah. Listen. Yeah, I can listen. I can't hear, but I can listen. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you, Commissioner Drury. Um, Events. I think that's a once every four year kind of uh, <laughs> 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 quad annual. <laughs> well, since Don Sharp has left, the events committee has gone. I've tried, under to, the <laughs> I've tried to volunteer his house, but he won't hear of it. Now he's selling it. Yeah. Okay, that's so, a good opportunity. So we'll, we'll have to think of something. Yeah. Maybe St. Patrick's Day party. Okay. Okay, so events committee will we'll keep it on. Yeah. Okay. All right, five-year historic resources work program. We have I have never been to a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only on year four. 
Was that? <laughs> it's only on year four. Oh, is that right? It's also. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, yeah. I see. I have to wait um, another year. No, so we have Drury, Uli, Mayhan, Edmonds. Um, <laughs> Phil, Sina. Um, so Ms. Hernandez would have the most information about that as far as when, when it's meeting, but um, yeah, that one we do need to keep, still keep on. Okay. Yeah. What does it do? Um, the Historic Resources Work Program. Um, a lot of it was related to our historic resources efforts um, since, and Nicole would have more information about that, like I said. So, and, and I think it was the kind of looking a, a sort of long, the, a long range kind of planning a five year out with the, all, exactly. the, all the work. Yeah. I think it was something that, that uh, Commissioner Arias pushed. She was very, very uh, involved in that, and since she's been gone, it's kind of dropped by the wayside. So anyway. that might be something that, that can get, um, so Drury, Uli, Mahan, and Edmonds, perhaps you can kind of revive that a bit and see what, um, maybe there is a, a meeting that happens once a year or whatever to review what the um, efforts are being um, uh, yeah, where, where the efforts are being put for... Yeah, maybe he can call a meeting. There we go, yeah. Um, all right, historic surveys. We have Grumbine, Mahan, Lenvik. Um, I don't think we've done met too often on that either, have we? Yeah, I'm trying to think when the last time was that. Are, um, we, are we doing surveys anymore? Maybe we... Maybe we that would be one I think that we can remove. Possibly yeah. drop, yeah, because a, a lot of that is being handled by Nicole and also um, staff mm -hmm. or, or um, grad students that she has. Um, okay, so let's drop, drop the historic surveys. Um, all right, so now ad hoc subcommittees. We have architectural detail, Grumbine, Uli, Mahan. Yeah, well, that's okay. Yeah. That's, that's High, good. Highway 101, occupancy vehicle. Vena and Edmonds. Um, what's this? Has, has that met at all the last year? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Is there is there um, any? I think that we we news? could we could disband that one for now. Okay. Because yeah. this is an ad hoc. We can always form a new one yeah, when, exactly. as, as needed. Historic structures ordinance. All right. That one we need to keep. Yeah. Yeah. And what would be the one line mission statement on that? So that was, uh, that's part of um, what is being, isn't it? Being it's it's developed yeah, it's currently the being developed. Um, the historic structures ordinance. Um, so in the, of the fact that it's still in the process of um, being written, we would want to keep that. And there will be a draft out soon, I think. Yes, absolutely. Then yeah. we will be reviewing mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, historic structures ordinance. Oh, sorry, I just heard that. Um, yeah. Los, <laughs> Los Patos, Cabrillo, Roundabout, and Railroad Bridge. That's over with, isn't it? Almost. So it's on the agenda Mr. today. Mr. Mr. Chair, I would suggest still keeping it just because there are there are other elements of mm -hmm. that other bridge that's adjacent mm -hmm. okay. to right. So I would just keep it for now. Okay. Yep. That sounds good. And then Lower Mission Creek design, Curry and Vena. Uh, Ms. Plummer, that's kind of gone its way, hasn't it? Or so, um, I, that's another one I would suggest just keeping around. There's a lot of Mission Creek projects that, in phases, keep coming up. Okay. So I would okay. just keep that for now. All right. Yeah. We're on. <coughs> You're the reserves. That's it. Got it. Um, Multi-unit and mixed-use guidelines. I think that's a dead. That's a dead, that's a dead, uh, take dead it out. Yeah. All right, cross off that ad hoc. Outdoor dining patio furniture. Oh, that's live. Yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's so us, usually, usually, <laughs> usually, usually though, the, 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 the outdoor dining patio furniture comes to the consent calendar. Yeah. As I recall, there there are some outdoor dining applications um, which go to staff, and we have certain guidelines that we have to hold them to. Um, but the great majority of them end up coming to consent, especially if they're um, seeking something that isn't necessarily um, very black and white to our guidelines. Yeah. So we're going to keep it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Paseo Nuevo. That one, I believe, we could get. 
since the project was approved, unless we want to keep well, it. Well, they just the came to consent calendar. They come to consent they calendar. They can come to consent calendar. I, I don't calendar. think that, that as an ad hoc committee, we need to have that anymore. Yeah, okay. I agree. Yeah. All right. And then sign, sign ordinance review. I have a question about that. Is that the committee that was put together for consistency with the Supreme Court decision? I believe so, yes. Which hasn't yeah. met in like Which two hasn't. years. Yeah. Uh, but I, I believe that I was not an alternate, but there were two members of HLC that were regular members of that, and I think yeah. there were two from ABR. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I shouldn't be an alternate. I should be appointed. Appointed. Okay. okay. And Mr. Chair? Yes. Uh, should sure we add is. objective design standards to this list? I was list? thinking that exact same thing. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, so as, uh, as Commissioner Lenvik and I have been working with the ABR, two members of ABR, two members of Planning Commission, and now it's um, the first draft has been formed and the AIA has had some, some comments and some is still, they're still in a review stage of it. Um, uh, I think it would be a really a good thing to have a, a good thorough um, ad hoc committee that can kind of keep this moving forward. So I think this is going to be a real, real topic. Uh, so it's Chair Grumbine and Commissioner Lenvik, I believe, for the yeah, two members. Yeah, currently, yeah. yeah. But I, I think if, um, and it was part of that was, it, it seemed like it was part of the two, uh, two ABR, two yes. uh, HLC, two um, planning commissioners. Does it seem like it's good to kind of branch it out a little more on the well, HLC well side? Well, this, um, no. Uh, I think we just want the two members um, for that listed here. I just wanted to make sure it was included on the language for our yeah. subcommittee list. Gotcha. All right. And okay. So I think that's our list. Any other um, additions or changes? Discussion? Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion to approve that list as as corrected. All right. Second. second. A second by jury. Oh. Um, sorry. <laughs> 2020. He's out of the gate. Yep. <laughs> All right, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries unanimously. It's that quick draw paintbrush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. All right, so we are on to item C, public comment. Any member of the public may address the commission for up to two minutes on any subject within its jurisdiction that is not scheduled on this agenda for public discussion. All right, so is there any member from the public wishing to comment? Something not on the agenda? All right. Seeing no one, I'll close public comment. On to item D, approval of the minutes of the Historic Landmarks Commission, December 11th, 2019. So moved. All right, I have a motion. Second, Second by Drury. All right, under discussion, any adjustments, changes? Mr. Chair, yep. I was remiss in studying them before the meeting. I went through them quickly. I found just one correction on page 7, which would be item 8, and in the motion... Uh, where, item four. Where, where's item eight? Page seven in the top. Eight. So, but go to page seven. So in the motion here. So it's uh, item four Excuse in the motion. Me. Excuse me. You're in the right place. <coughs> no, I'm on page three. Oh, there you go, seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. item okay. eight. So I don't think they found any mittens, uh, but there was a midden. <laughs> M-I-D-D-E-N. <laughs> That's a mighty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, they weren't good little kittens. Um, <laughs> all right, any other adjustments, <laughs> changes? Made you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, so with those changes, um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Aye, abstain. All right, Commissioner Drury abstains. Uh, and. Uh, that with no opposed, so, all right, motion carries. Yeah, it's done. All right, on to uh, item E, approval of the consent calendar, January 28th, 2020. Thank you, Mr. Chair. All items today were reviewed by Commissioner Mahan. Item A, 1721 Santa Barbara Street was granted project design approval and final approval. Item B, 609 State Street received project design approval and final approval. 
Item C, 605 North Milpa Street, received project design approval and final approval. Item D, 16 West Los Olivos, received project design approval and final approval. And item E, 1420 Alameda Padre Serra, received project design approval and final approval. You're just too easy on them. All right. Them. They were all good projects. Good. Um, so I'll make a motion right. to approve the consent calendar. All right. Second. Second by jury. Motion by house. Um, under discussion. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? <coughs> Motion carries. All right. On to item F. Announcements, requests by applicants for continuances and withdrawals, future agenda items, and appeals. Mr. Chair? Yes, Commissioner. I House. attended the City Council meeting yesterday with the City Attorney's presentation of new 2019 legislation and stuck around for the housing part of it. But uh, our very own Teva Ostranger was uh, exceptional in her presentation. And uh, so it was very informative. It's, it gets more complicated all the time because there's not like three pieces of legislation. It just keeps growing and they reference each other. And then SB 50 is uh, alive again. So <laughs> anyway, I won't go into any more detail than that. But mm -hmm. I did attend. OK. Then, Mr. Chair, I have several announcements. Um, Ms. Hernandez will be absent from today's meeting, as well as Commissioner Uli. And you should already know about both of these, um, but they're just reminder notes. Um, there will be a walking tour offered by Chair Grumbine and Ms. Hernandez on Friday, January 31st from 2.30 to 4.30. Um, and the walking tour will highlight traditional detailing of exceptional Santa Barbara buildings. Um, it's not just for the Historic Landmarks Commission, um, but it will be for the ABR and SFDB as well. Um, and it will be useful for um, your reference uh, for different projects that come through Design Review. Um, and then the second uh, reminder is there is a scheduled site visit on Wednesday, January 22nd. So right before our um, oh, regular right. HLC meeting at 1230. Um, and it's to the residents at 1919 Santa Barbara Street, um, which is a designated structure of merit in the vernacular American four square style. Um, the owner has completed most of the work on the house, um, including a lot of interior work, and she is opening it up to the Historic Landmarks Commission to view. It's not a project. You aren't reviewing any kind of architectural details or anything, but she's just letting you see her finished work. Cool. So. Great. Right. Where is um, the walking tour starting at 2.30? Um, the walking tour, I believe, will start here, but I will confirm that. And Chair Grumbine, I need to go to a meeting upstairs, but if you should need me, you can have Ms. Rydell call Greta Walters, and I'll come back down. Great. Thank you. Hopefully we won't need you. Well, oh. <laughs> no, it isn't here we'll just talk about parking the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't here. All right. Um, okay. Uh, any other announcements? And... Um, um, so I guess at this point would be uh, I'd want to bring up and see how how um, there has been information passed around about the um, Franceschi House, um, and there has some questions about that, and I know that's that's in the works. Um, I'm wondering whether and there was some information sent out to all the commissioners, but I'm wondering if uh, if commissioners uh, or and and what the right and what the, what the right process is. For, and I talked to Ms. Hernandez a, a little bit about this, but and she's not here to talk more about it, but um, what the right process is to understand what our role uh, can and should be in, and or should be um, in this um, review process, because I know there's a lot of history to it, and perhaps a um, if we can schedule a quick summary of that project and, and a discussion of it, I think it might be um, at least beneficial to everyone here to be able to know... Mm -hmm. um, what, what some options are because things are, are happening to it. Yeah, so Mr. Chair, I'll confirm with Ms. Hernandez, um, but if it's appropriate to schedule it either as an announcement um, or as a discussion item at a upcoming meeting, we can do that. Okay, great. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Mr. Chair, yes, Commissioner. The, on the Franceschi House, um, two of us here on the commission are also on the Riviera Board. The Riviera Board is unanimously for... Uh, uh, tearing down the Franceschi House. And um, I think it would be appropriate. I think this commission is more important 
the, to, the, to the decisions made on the Franceschi House than the Riviera Board is. So I'm going to suggest to myself and, and my colleague here that, that at the Riviera Board we would, we would excuse ourselves on that issue. Because if we have to make a decision here, I don't think we should. We're we should. Mm-hmm. Is that okay? Yeah, that sounds like. So a good... we're having a meeting on Monday, and I'm going to announce that, that we would be recusing ourselves. Okay, thank you. Will you appreciate um, that? Email um, Michael to I will. get that on the agenda. I will. I don't know if I can get it on the agenda. Oh, no. did you get the, his email that he's developing the agenda right now? So you could email. Right this right this minute right, as we right speak. Now. Well, right, we're taking out. five. The email came out this <laughs> Why morning. Don't you? Asking for agenda items, so your timing is Maybe you could email me on your your smartphone. I don't have a smartphone. My phone is dumb. (laughs) I could do that. Well, fortunately, we have a short meeting, so there's that. Okay, great. Um, Okay, any other uh, announcements or requests by applicants? Any other items? All right. Uh, On to subcommittee reports. Any subcommittees? Mr. Chair? Yes, Commissioner Mahan. Um, Last year... After, the, the, after our meeting, a couple of days after our meeting, uh, I met with the uh, Santa Barbara uh, Architectural Conservancy. The Santa Barbara Conservancy. The Santa Barbara Conservancy uh, to, to ask them if they would be willing to help support financially our plaques, our award plaques, and uh, which we think are going to cost us about, this, just, just the Historic Landmarks Commission, about $600. And they voted to uh, support the idea. They did, not, they did not specify a specific amount of money at that time. And I think maybe it will come back up at your next meeting and you will deliberate on that. Well, I can clarify that the issue was that um, Susan Gantz, who is also on the Santa Barbara Conservancy Board, recalled that there may be funds available set aside in the city, and she was going to confirm that before we committed to a dollar amount. So... That's, That's okay, but, the, but we, have, we have two other boards that will be dipping their fingers into that, into, those, into that city money. Yeah. We also have a possibility of some money from a bank that, that Michael Drury is pursuing. So we, we have a, a, a several you know, lines out into the water for money, mm-hmm. uh, but, I'm, but I'm still hoping that the uh, Conservancy will be supportive uh, of the Historic Landmarks Commission. I'm sure we will be if... If the city doesn't rise to the occasion. Okay, good. So that's and and then I'm planning to uh, have a meeting of all three of the uh, board, uh, the ABR, the the single family design board, and ourselves next week. Uh, the committee is to to discuss a timeline and uh, uh, see where we go from there. So that's that's where we are on that right now. We're we're moving forward and we're still searching for money, but I we've got a lot of uh, hooks in the water. Mm-hmm. Great. Thank you. All right. Any other subcommittee reports? By the, the, one other thing. I will, uh, Steve, I will follow up with Susan Gantz. Um, I have her email, and I'll, I'll make sure that, okay. that uh, her cage is being rattled. I meant to before the meeting, but... Maybe we can, we can both rattle it. You we can <laughs> shake it from opposite sides. <laughs> okay. Thank, right. thank you, Mr. Chair. Sounds good. Thank you. Any other subcommittee reports? All right, see none, I'll close item G. And now we are on to item one, miscellaneous action item for Los Patos Way off-ramp underpass, bridge number 51-0235. The commission is requested to adopt a resolution of intention to hold a public hearing on April 1st, 2020 to consider a structure of merit designation of Los Patos Bridge, um, a bridge constructed in 1901 with riveted steel girder and prominent ashlar cut sandstone while made of Santa Barbara native stone. So, with that, do I have a motion? No, public hearing first. Oh, public sorry. Public Good comment. Comment. Yes, comment. sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, yes, I'll open public comment. Anyone wishing to comment on this item? Los Patos Bridge, going once, twice? No? Okay. Um, then close, I will make a motion, motion to <laughs> adopt a resolution of intention to hold a public hearing to consider designation as a structure of merit, the Los Patos Way off-ramp underpass bridge. Second. Second by jury. Motion by House. Under discussion. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Abstain? Motion carries unanimously. Hey, Mr. Chair? Yes. I, I, I just wanted to say that, that I was interested in these, in these plate girder bridges, railroad bridges, and I Googled that. 
uh, to see if I could find out anything, and um, I couldn't find out anything about plate girder bridges west of the Mississippi <coughs> for some reason. They, but they were doing them east of the Mississippi back after the Civil War, you know, in 1880, mm. 1875. They were doing plate girder bridges, um, and um, but I couldn't I couldn't get any Im information about California. I have a feeling that this this may be one of the first ones mm. uh, because of this railroad coming up from Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's unique. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's but that's a guess. Thank you. Thank you. All right, um, all right. So we are on now to item two. Mr. Cornell, Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. And we have New all Year. evening. <laughs> yeah. We have all evening. That's right. <laughs> all right. That's right. All right. So this is um, for final approval. This is uh, 1220 through 1222 State Street and 20 East Victoria Street. Uh, this project consists of a merger of nine lots totaling three quarters of an acre and a subsequent re, re subdivision uh, to create seven lots. Proposed lots range from 596 to 13,000 square feet. The project includes exterior improvements such as lighting, paving, and walls to, to create Granada Plaza and enhanced Paseo connection between State Street and Granada Garage. The uh, defined bus tra truck parking for the Granada Theater, a new shared trash enclosure, and two new private garages. Um, the Paseo to State Street is proposed to be dedicated to the city. A uh, tentative subdivision map was approved by Planning Commission, allowing for the division of nine parcels into seven lots. Final approval is requested. The project was last reviewed and granted project design approval on November 13th, 2019. So why don't you state your name for the record, and then we'll um, okay. read, read back the previous stuff and get comments from staff. Um, Brian Cornell here with Rogelio Solis, and as well as Karen Rager from the Granada Theater, and... Board member Dan Burnham and um, the Tobes group as well is here. Thank you. Welcome. So, um, should we go through? Um, let's let's do. Uh, do we have any staff comments? Um, Mr. Chair, I don't have any comments um, other than this item is on for final approval today, and it can be granted that. Um, I do have the previous project design approval set. If at any time you need to reference that. Um, but it has been reviewed for consistency um, with that, um, and it's been reviewed by the case planner um, as well. So if you have right. any questions, just let me know. Thank you. Okay, so why don't I, I'll start by just reading through um, the, the, our motion from last time, and then we'll let you um, present. Okay, so our motion was for project design approval with the following comments and findings, and to return to the full commission for in-progress review with the following conditions met. Uh, so one, provide a warmer concrete tone for the private area. Scored concrete is acceptable. Two, the rendering is acceptable as submitted. Three, the current garage design is acceptable. Four, return with specifications for the cove lighting. Five, return with the alternate design for the string lighting, including raised poles, hoods, and more catenary swag. Um, six, the interior garage lighting should be warm and have reduced intensity. Uh, seven, the commission finds that the compatibility analysis criteria generally have been met uh, as follows. A, the project fully complies with all applicable city charter and municipal code requirements. The project design is consistent with the design guidelines applicable to its location within the city. B, the design of the project is compatible with the desirable architectural qualities and characteristics that are distinctive of Santa Barbara and the particular neighborhoods surrounded surrounding the project. C, the size, mass, bulk, scale, or height and scale of the project are appropriate for its location and neighborhood. D, the design of the project is appropriately sensitive to adjacent landmarks or nearby designated historic resources. E, the design of the project responds appropriately to established scenic public vistas. F, the project includes an appropriate amount of open space and landscaping. The action was by Mahan. The second was by House. It was 701. Nemec, was, Nemec abstained. Edmonds was absent, the motion carried. All right, so with that. Um, and then Mr. Chair, um, just uh, given that Nemec abstained and Edmonds absent, and just a reminder that if you um, have not familiarized yourself um, with the plans or watched the, meet, the last meeting, um, you'll be limited to questions only, but no comments. Yep. Great, thank you. 
All right. Okay, we'll just go through this list again then. Number one is providing the warmer concrete tone for the private area, and that's like I think the reference to the private area is basically the bus parking area. Mm -hmm. So, um, thank you. So, no, A100, right? No, not even that. Yeah, look at that. Ah. Who came up with this numbering system? <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. So, <laughs> we're talking about this area here. So, that is the color that we are proposing. The San Jose that? Yes. Okay. Um, what was it before? It was just natural yes, concrete? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, specification for the cove lighting. So, here are. Here's the specifications for that cove lighting. And we'll just go back to that detail. So, is that pointer there? Oh, I'm sorry. I always forget, <laughs> don't I? That detail there. So you can see what that, that's a fairly small little LED section, which is what I've got. Uh, A601, A601, detail 16. <clears throat> Mr. Chair? Yes, Commissioner House? If I recall, the issue last time was that it shows a, a list of different color temperatures available, but none of them was specified as to which one. It so does. I wonder if it's out in the plan now. It's yeah. on the it's it's on the sheet, right? Yeah, yeah uh, sheet E100. It's on the uh, electrical schedule, lighting schedule. It's the first item of the schedule. Light fixture schedule. Here? Yes. Echo okay, sense. so that looks it's probably let's see, L fifty E forty eight power. So that'd be the three thousand. Yeah, it's okay. C R I. Okay. And then we have the alternative for the lighting, which was the big discussion item, of course, the last time. So let me start by after our, after our meeting, um, we basically went back and looked at the whole configuration. And I did this little quick sketch just to illustrate at least what my desire and direction was on this because I think the idea about the Cantonary um, swag mm -hmm. <laughs> is very very important and and more importantly we realized that you know we were we were uh, trying to do intermediate swags that were tying back to the the cable that would be along this building which is not lit so what I came up with was the idea of doing this pattern to between the poles as well as then the intermediate ties that all would be directly connected to poles and that we would then have that kind of swag and I think that creates a really nice dynamic running through that area. Um, we are proposing as, as the plans indicate, let me go to, what sheet is that? Uh, what's the elevation? Is all the sections in the elevation. The yeah. A201. A so maybe it's anybody remembers these things, because I don't. <laughs> yeah, that one. There we go. So you show a section. So we increased the height of the pole, and the detail for that, is that on the next sheet? Yeah, right actually, there? no, it's the previous sheet. The previous sheet, and I noticed, uh, and I had some graphic problems uh, going before E101. And I noticed that on the print, that piece was missing, so that's the piece that's missing there, and I brought some extra sheets to swap it out. But this shows the pull height, shows the swag depth, and I'll pass these sheets around. This is uh, sheet A101. If you could pass that one around to that side. Okay. So we are proposing one of the things that there was a lot of debate about was the was the whether these should have some sort of a cover, 
And, you know, in some ways it's reflected in my little sketch. With this, with this spacing and what we are proposing, you know, the one cover we found um, is this here. Um, but, you know, frankly, I just don't like the idea of the cover. I think it just makes, it, it, it puts more stuff in that Paseo. And, you know, to me, that basic bulb is, and, and the detail of that connection is actually you put that on the screen, please? quite yeah. nice. Um, and I just don't think these are necessary. And, you know, frankly, these are, you know, 60 bucks a piece. And I don't know how many lights we've got, but it also adds, you know, significantly to the budget. And I, you know, I, I, I think about the lighting that we're going to have washing the wall and then the lighting coming through. And I wouldn't like to, you know, I, I, I really think the lighting over the art itself should have this, but I'm just, I'm just concerned that that's too much. So that's my pitch for not doing any kind of a, of a, cover or shade on those lights. Do we have a spec on what the lamps are? As far as, well, they're in the, they're back on that sheet A1 or, or E100, correct? Yes, for the, the string lighting? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're uh, exhibitor series. Well, actually, you can see them here, too. I reproduced them on sheet A101, mm -hmm. and the spacing is going to be 18 inches. And it's a warm light as uh, specif uh, specified by the R engineer required for that 12-foot wide paseo that we have there. There's more information on the E-sheets? Yes. Which one is this on the E-sheet? It would be... You know which one of these it is? Uh, it's not Vega, not Lithonia. Could be that one or that one. Echo sense. No, that's the Cove. No, that's the Cove. Which, do you have that sheet yeah, again? That. Here, this one. Tokastar, what is it? What is that? It's, it's the same. Tokastar, they're, they're the ones that are... Uh, oh, that's right. I remember man. that name. But it's not on? It's not on this list. Must be on this list. Has no. to be on this list. Should be it? watched per foot or something. He but. calls it on the... Can we go to the plan real quick? Sure. Let's see what that says. Maybe we did need Alan here. Huh? A, this is picture A. No. Number two. No. Those are just notes, aren't they? No. Two is no, it's a J box. Pole. Eleven is pole also. Mm -hmm. Well, they're 0.48 watts each. I mean, it's just not really specified what the color temperature is, and. No, why? I apologize. I don't know why it's not in. We're not. We're not seeing a fixture. List here, and he lists all the other fixtures. Alan, huh. Alan, if well, you're listening. We can resolve that with a condition that staff on consent. Yeah, confirm. Put a condition on it and then it can come get consent. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously important that those be warm. Not if it gets final. Why? Yeah. Well, they could still come well, to consent. Can't, can't give it final if we have, uh, if it's supposed to return to consent, but we can put a condition on it and That's staff correct. can verify. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. So, um, why don't I just finish and then we can... Yeah, Okay. that sounds good. Um, then, interior garage lighting should be warm and have reduced intensity. So, Alan also, again, he indicated to us that he spec the warmest light for those. And and even a, with those yeah, 3,000 kilowatt. 3,000? 3,000 and specified there. Which is the light fixture, Rahelio? Uh, sorry, I don't know those off my memory. <laughs> Well, let's go to his plan. 
So I think he had six strip lights in each garage before. And he was, and, and he did give us a little lecture about that he didn't want to underspecify, you know, because of yeah. the function that might be going on in there. What's the function that might be going on well, in there other than I mean, parking? Is it going to be somebody's workshop? Or? Well, I yeah. mean, somebody could work in that garage. Yeah. Sure. I mean, they could certainly be working on a car and overhauling it. Yeah. But, the, but you know, the, obviously the garage doors, you know, are likely to be closed most of the time. Well, that's, that's the big issue is. Especially at night, I would imagine. Yeah. It's 41 no watts here, but it doesn't, it doesn't That's each fixture, so, yeah. Do you, do you have that? Do you have the spec sheet for that? Uh, I, don't have, I don't have the spec sheet printed for that, but he did specify it was a 3,000 kilowatt. No, uh, K, Calvin. K. Calvin. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah. So basically, nothing changed from last time. That's right. Okay. Right. That's right. Um, so as I said, I guess we should have had Alan here, huh? He could have been the one to convince you that it was the right <laughs> light level. I know what his because, argument would be, but you know, he, in fact, he was adamant that he refused to do. He didn't want to change it because he didn't want the liability that yeah. there wouldn't be enough light in the garage for people working. So I, you know, but he doesn't have a foot candle plot going into the garage, does he? I know he's got no, it out no. in that outer part. No, I mean, if we want to go to that, I doubt it yeah. because he doesn't show that. Yeah, no. he would only show the exterior right. lighting. What sheet is that, Ray? Uh, the last one, E three hundred one, believe eight. Uh, Probably one more, E204 maybe. No. Nope. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. It well, assumes the why, garage why don't, doors. Why don't we get into the questions a little bit? Okay. Um, well, let me, one more item that I want to bring up with you, because um, I'm a little bit concerned about this. This is the paving pattern that we have proposed. What page is that? This A is on A101. And, and at, the, at the lower uh, left-hand corner, right-hand corner of, of the page, um, we have kind of the, the idea of being able to do some of the donor um, tiles or, or pavers that are in this area. And Public Works has indicated, and actually this pattern we sort of emulated what is existing today uh, at that, at that uh, pergola. And Public Works um, has indicated, this is Mike Clunin. Clunin, has said, well, I don't want this pattern. I want you to match the pattern of State Street, the herringbone at State Street, and in fact, I want you to take this out. Where and this is this is basically a little section that has been defined as a different paving pattern than the rest of the herringbone, which mm -hmm. you know kind of works nicely in in a way because it defines the entrance to that paseo. So I think it's important for probably this commission to weigh in on that. The herringbone, it's not that it wouldn't work, but it, I don't think it's going to give us quite as much flexibility as far as the donor, mm -hmm. the donor tiles that we, we anticipate. And, and really, I like the idea that this is something that's a little bit different, that you're not just carrying the pattern from State Street down this paseo, particularly in, given the fact that it's not the same material. Mm -hmm. And State so, Street breaks it up. It's got different patterns in different places, I think. Well, State or Street it, it certainly does. But again, it's interesting. Their attitude is, well, we don't want to have different patterns. We want everything to be the same. So if we ever have to replace it, we, everybody's we, a designer, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I don't quite understand the reasoning, but that is what we're being told they're going to condition the project. So I think mm -hmm. I would appreciate maybe your help in that because I don't really understand why first this needs to be pulled out and that that, yeah. that cost imposed on the Granada Theater. Uh, and, and then I think it's actually nice that we do have a slight variation in the pattern for this Paseo anyway. So, so along that lines, where, where were you thinking that, um, where, where does your new paving uh, proposed stop? Right at the back side of this, right? Correct. Okay. That's right. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. That is there any more my on your for your presentation? Presentation. Unless okay. we can get Alan Noll over here real quick. And then, Mr. Chair, we need to open up public comment yes. before questions. All right. So we'll open up public comment. Anyone from the public wishing to comment? Now is the time. All right. Going, going. <laughs> All right. So seeing no one, I'll close public comment and bring it back to the commission for questions. Commissioner Drury. So um, the uh, San Jose buff that you've picked for the interior paving, that's going to stay pretty much the same value as weathers properly? I mean, you know. It, I mean, it, it should. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. You know, it's a good color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good color. I, I wish you had Pecos Beige just because it's a good, good name, but. Because <laughs> he was an old outlaw, right? Um, um, the color of the walkway to State Street is going to be the same. No, it's the brick color there. That's, that's, that's the that's color. The, okay, well, that's actually not, fairly. And actually, can you get the point? Anyway, in? let's let's make um, sure everyone's clear on this because uh, this is, um, and yeah, because this is going to be part of the comments. Um, yes. But, yeah. So that's that's the line from right there. They're proposing going this way back. Changing it to this, okay. Um, but in this pattern, yeah. But okay. Changing it. To okay. We have to do this because of okay. the permeability. Yeah. And are you worried about the um, maintenance of the art wall uh, with graffiti? Mm -hmm. um, sure. Okay. It's, it's always <coughs> an issue. Yeah. Right? Okay. You're aware of that, I'm sure. Yeah. And a question about uplighting from the from the um, the string lights. You, do you have anybody living up above? Or are they just offices? Uh, those are offices okay. upstairs on both both buildings. Okay. And are you are you concerned about the pole height being um, people able to jump into the uh, the catenary arch, and pulling down the? Well, that's why we that's why we raised the pole okay. from where we were the last okay. time. So no, we raised it so that we did ameliorate that concern. What clearance is that? Uh, it shows in that section. Uh, no, it's it's yeah, about nine feet. Ten foot three. Here. Ten feet. And that's a, at the arch. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Go to sheet okay. e A201. A201, yes. Yeah. Well, there's a section at the lower portion of A201. I'm sorry, God, I'm that's so okay. bad about that. So we can see that the lower point of that um, ten three sla clear. swag is 10-3. Yeah. And so the rim of a basketball hoop would be 10 feet. And the only people that can dunk it is those <laughs> right. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be the first to know. <laughs> and I don't want that to be obviously too high. I think yeah. it's nice to have the right scale. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, any other questions? questions? Commissioner Nemec, question? Yeah, just, um, oh, where did I lose it? So this detail here, the detail 16 on 601, this A is... A601. Okay. That's the top of this wall? Sorry, let me get there. Um, yes. Detail yes. 16, right? That you're uh, talking about? <coughs> yeah, detail 16. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. just want to know where that was. Okay. Correct. Yeah. You'll be washing down. And then I, w I should be, I want to be clear, I think I mentioned this the last time, if we go back to the elevation, Obviously, that stone cap is asymmetrical. This sheet. This sheet. So we've we added these pilasters at the ends of those walls to capture that stone cap, so that when you're looking at the side of this wall, it will have that added thickness, and the stone cap will be rational about that stone wall. Does that make sense? Um, do you have a? You have a detail of that? Or I no? don't think I. Well, I've got the detail that you just saw. But um, you can you can actually appreciate the end corners on uh, sheet A E A one hundred one. You'll see the conditions uh, how it ends. So see that end piece here. So it's the thickness is added, yeah. mm -hmm. and then you start the art where it starts from. There. So the That's the it. the extension or the cantilever of the stone will be consistent around that end when you're looking at that and then it re recesses back to allow for that light. Gotcha. And uh, you, you're, um, but in the elevations here, just to be clear, because <coughs> um, even though they're small scale, um, there that line isn't there. Is that right? Like that, where that would jog the cap? 
Is that right? Is that cap no, job? There is no, the, there is no at the cap, the, the There's cap no line. is continuous. Yes. So the only line is where the, is the plaster thickness of the wall sticks out exactly. a little bit. Okay, gotcha. steps back so that the mural okay. will be set in and ensconced by those two Oh, and pilasters. I see. You're using the overhang of that to get your LED. That's under. right. I so it. I just okay. wanted to clarify Perfect. that one detail, which you know looks odd, obviously, where the cap is not And that's not, why you're saying this is, is not offset. symmetrical. It's, yep, got it's, it. It's going to feel like that. Okay, got it. Makes sense. Does that make yeah. sense? Okay. Any other questions, Commissioner? Vena? No. Okay. Commissioner Vena? <coughs> on the brick paving that you have, are these going to have nipples on them for spacers? Or are they, or are they the hydro? They have, they have the, the lugs. The, the bumps. The, the bumps. It, well, the bumps. It's not the, yeah, bumps, the bumps. It's the yeah. gravel, right? That was that sits oh, in between. They're going to be flush yeah. each other, so there's no space between them. There is space, yeah, and I it's for the permeability yeah. for the little bit okay. of gravel that will. Okay. But this be in is there. also the this is hydrofluor. Mm -hmm. right? Yes, it's hydrofluor, yeah. so you can so barely even see this. Yeah, it's, we're talking about an eighth the inch. Paper itself is permeable, right? Yes. Correct. Okay. Right. Last question: uh, the color of your standards, lighting standards. Do you have a color attached to them, or just galvanized black or what? Black. Black, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And did you have that called out somewhere? Uh, the, yes, it's called out as black for the paint of the poles and um, the bollards. Is there a color sheet or anything? Um, it's not Malibu. Well, you see on the, there's a finishes and colors legend on sheet A201. A okay. Yes, Commissioner. The finish of the paint itself? Glossy Painted black. Glossy. Matt. It should perhaps be a warm black, a red black, or a. Uh... Oh, black's a black. There's no difference. <laughs> <laughs> Green black no, or red black. Uh, so I have a half. It's it's not going to be a gloss. It's going to have a half sheen. It's a uh, it's a topsoil. It's a pretty common uh, oh, you, black finish that we you use. have a handrail call out here. Wrought yeah. iron painted black. That's right. Front, and then you mm -hmm. give a you give a number. Is that is that the same one? Yes, correct. Okay, because you have it called out elsewhere too. Here, okay. But there's no frizzy anymore, so. <laughs> and I think uh, I you can't have a color chip of topsoil. I mean, is that a off black? We I just submitted a part of the of the, the sheet I, uh, from materials. At you the have time a materials. previous sheet from before. All that I have is oh. there, unless it was like on a prior submittal. Other than your final approval. No, I submit along with this. I sent like uh, eight and, oh. and a half by eleven. That was in the previous submittal, right? No, no. Well, the, no, the one that got us to where we're at right now. This one? Yes. Uh, there we go. Uh-huh. All right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to call Alan Noll again. <laughs> you can't blame him for this one. No, well, I could. <laughs> a little bit off. Maybe a little red-black. Okay. Um, any other questions? No, I have no more questions. Thank you. Not, not at this time. All right. Commissioner House? I don't believe I have any questions. All right. Commissioner Mann? Are we, we're in questions. questions. What? Questions. Yeah. yeah do, do, the, do, the, do the lights turn off at a certain time? Yes, they will be on a timer. Mm -hmm. And they will be maintained by the, the theater. All of this is going to be maintained by the theater staff. So, so like at 10.30 or something like that, they go off or whatever um, it is? Yeah, I don't know that we've decided a, a time. Yeah, I mean, I, I, for an example, if there is an event at, yeah. at the theater, mm -hmm. we'd want those lights want to those be on to light, yeah. before Probably have you know, manual, while people manual, are leaving. So yeah, it override, manual, manual. override manual control. Mm -hmm. But okay. they're not they're not on a on a, a photo cell. Clock. Photo cell thing. Not on a clock. They are on a clock. They're not on a photo cell. So they will go off, and then they would have to be overridden if they needed to go past that time, 1030 or whatever it is. Okay. Commissioner okay. Edmonds, any questions? Um, yes. Um, so when I look at this photo, and you were talking about the herringbone pattern. Huh? I'm confused as to where well, the herringbone pattern the currently herring is. The herringbone pattern currently, and then we just took this as a generic, so all of State Street is that pattern now. And, and if you look closely, there is a slight deviation in that pattern because it's done in more like squares as opposed to just everything being the herringbone. And so we, we sort of emulated that with our pattern 
and then it was just very, very l l late in the process here. It was just a few. Yeah, it's the last round. Yeah. The public works took a look at it. Uh, the, the, and, and they basically said, not only do we want you to match the herringbone that is on State Street, but we actually want you to pay to have that removed and per turned into herringbone. And that just seems like an overreach, and it doesn't seem appropriate. Okay. Thank you. You mean under the pergola? Under the pergola. That's right. They want us to remove that and, and change it to the standard herringbone under the pergola and then make our pattern match the standard hair. Can we get to comments? Oh, yeah, just about. I'm, I want to make sure Commissioner Edmonds finishes any qu other questions. I don't know if it's just me, but these patterns look the same, don't they? No, this is herringbone. This is, this is a, a basket weave. Yeah, it's close. You see it? Mm -hmm. Right, but doesn't this look like it too? But, you know, maybe I... Well, anyway, I'm sure you have it right. No, but. this is herringbone. Okay. This is herringbone. This is basket, basket weave. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. No, I have no more questions. All right. On to comments. Commissioner Mahan. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to make a comment on the, uh, the, the reason that, it, that the uh, basket weave is under the pergola. It, I designed that. And, ah. and, um, <laughs> and it was approved by the Historic Landmarks Commission uh, when they approved the plaza. And... Um, I, when I went into the uh, second George Wash, Washington Smith house in Montecito, I noticed that every one of his rooms had a different pattern. And that it's very traditional to change patterns from one place to another. I thought that under the pergola was a good place to change the patterns, and I would be very, very upset if the city changed that without coming before this commission. And personally, I think that, that the basket weave pattern should continue of from the pergola on up the paseo uh, as a different as a different pattern from this from the state street basket weave we need to have variety uh, and everything shouldn't be the same uh, as general patent would want it <laughs> uh, i'm not sure what you're saying are you saying the basket weave should continue yes up, up, as yes. proposed and be continue as, with what be continue with what's under the pergola okay all right um, and yeah, okay, so uh, I should preface this a little bit. So if uh, each commissioner would also um, weigh in on the, com the s items being the concrete tone, um, the, the cove lighting, um, the uh, alternate design for the string lighting, um, including rating the poles and catenary swag, the interior light of the garage, um, Mr. Chair, yes, I'll continue. Um, yeah, I, I I like the cove lighting on the wall. I think ending in the pilasters is a good solution. I think that uh, the little lights can go without the shields um, as long as there isn't residential up above. If that would convert over, and it could, then then there might be complaints by the residents, and then the uh, Whoever manages this might have an issue, and may, may might have to put the shields on. But I think it's traditionally the, it's, it, they just hang up there, and they, the light goes up as well as down. And I think that's kind of a nice touch. I, I think the uh, the color of the concrete is uh, excellent. And um, what other item was there? Um, the garage light. Oh yeah, the, the the you know when we when we have a parking structure with an open door, an open doorway. Uh, we are concerned about the lighting that you see because the doorway is open all the time. But I think when there's a garage door, then what's happening on the interior is really not the purview of this commission. I don't think we usually go inside of buildings and, and make approvals of, these, of inside of buildings, uh, assuming that you know, if there's a door. So I would say that the, the, uh, the lighting inside of the garage is not an issue as long as there is a door on the, on the uh, opening. Okay. Um, all right, and then, um, and the cove lighting you already did. You already yeah, I like say that. that. Like yeah. It? Yep. Okay. And all right. Come and I. And you wait on the on the paving <laughs> pattern. Uh, the black color. Uh, that was already part of the submission, and so and there was we already accepted it as. No, this is new. Yeah, okay. that's came. Okay, so then as well, the black color, do you have an opinion on it's a, it's a little bit dark. I think it's a little darker than our standard black, isn't it? A little bit. 
generally speaking, these black paints oxidize pretty fast in the sunlight and they turn gray. But, but this, this would be my preference which is a little bit lighter, not quite so black. A little grayer. It's a little softer. And either a green black or a red black. That's a Sherwin Williams 7070. Cyber space. Yeah. Is it 7070? Oh. Is that the number? Uh, 7076. 7076. Cyberspace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we want a very traditional <laughs> cyberspace. <laughs> I'm going to tell people you know, like, that the Historic like Landmarks the, Commission is required. It's like the 70s cyberspace. Star Wars, not like the new Star Wars. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, and so where uh, you're le you'd want it leaning more towards this. Yeah. Okay. okay. Might just be a condition. Yeah. yeah. Um, Okay, uh, Commissioner House. Well, uh, I'm okay with the concrete color. Okay. Um, let's see, we were okay with everything on the cove lighting, weren't we? Or was that mm -hmm. when the color, there was a color temperature issue? I think no, there it was, was 3,000 K, I think. We, we said return with specifications for the cove lighting. So yeah, the, you were okay with are, the cove lighting. Yeah, I think spec. so. I think so. Um, as far as the string lighting, you know, this is evolving. And <laughs> <laughs> like marijuana, <laughs> it's me. evolved. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we'll learn from each installation whether or not we made a mistake or not. <laughs> and um, you know, on principle, shielding them to prevent sky glow is a good idea. You know, with LED, we just don't have reference what 0.48 watt looks like. Uh, if it were an incandescent, we'd have a sense. I think these were 18 inches on center. Yeah. So that's um, the ones that were strung on State Street were 12 inches on center, which was pretty tight. These are a little less. Um, I would say I'm OK with it as long as it's conditioned to be 2700 K or less. So they're more incandescent like mm -hmm. and they're not bluish and feeling overly bright because of that bluish tint. So 2,700K or less. <clears throat> um, my concern about the garage is that this is a quasi-public space, and I would not want to see people with their garage or doors open setting up a little workshop in their garage or working on their car at night, and there's bright light glaring out of there. The point is well taken that there's a garage door, and so it's not our purview what's inside of there. But I'm just telling you what my concern was. And I, as far as liability, you know, hallways are lit to a pretty low foot candle level, and I don't see why the interior of a garage needs to be any brighter than that, except for workshops and stuff. So yeah. that's, that's my concern. Do, may I ask, it, would it help if we just simply, even though Alan may not like this, we just, rem, instead of having three lights across, that we just el basically eliminated two lights that would help. per garage, that would help. and so we'd have four, yeah. four lights instead of six lights. Or they lights. could be dual switched, you know, like you'd have in an office, so you, can, you have the option of turning half of it on, so something like that. Which would you prefer to do, take... Well, I think if if your if your concern is the lighting um, of all that amount of lighting, then switching to four was the only way you'd be able to yeah okay sure that let's you, make you that keep a it condition down as long as yeah make that a condition then okay um. oh and I'm uh, I'm in agreement with the herring I mean the uh, basket weave pattern continuing okay. Mm -hmm. And your uh, opinion on the black? Oh, well, as uh, suggested as an alternate, okay. that would be fine. All right. And that would apply to all, bl all blacks, the poles, the bollards, mm -hmm. wrought iron, everything. Mm -hmm. All right, Commissioner Vena. Um, so I concur with my colleagues as far as that goes. Uh, I have a question, though. Did we, or did I forget that we had, did we have pots coming along any of the avenues or anywhere there at all? Yeah. No mm -hmm. pots. So we have the one tree and then the filling in small landscape area. Yes. As per your plan. I want to, yeah. 
That's and I believe that was one of the correct. items that we discussed was that that little planting area was basically the only one that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we actually have another corner, have a little corner here where the trash enclosure is. Yeah. Where we create that That's notch specifically for that. That's where the so tree is. What size is. of a tree was that? To be, I know it's an olive tree, but twenty-four inch box. That's just bush. I'd like to see something more substantial in there. You know, I've got to check and just make sure we could fit something. Well, maybe you should fit it first. Bigger. What's that, what's that dimension there, Rahelio? So this is. Oh, that's it here. Thank you. So, yeah, I mean, we've got 36. Okay. Oh. So we could at least up it to that without getting into okay. construction logistical understand problems. That. As long as you can find it, well. Is it, does, is, does all, all on that, because I'm going to ask others um, to um, weigh in on this, and thir does 36 sound like a well, reasonable it's, it's compromise? It's more reasonable than a two, okay. a two foot. However, I'd like them to look for a larger tree in that in that <clears throat> in that capacity of dimension, and they do exist. You'll just have to look for it. Otherwise, it's going to be a a very small bush. Okay. And where's the new tree going? At uh, at the corner here. Yeah, it's just trash and <clears throat> Kind of like the tree grows in Brooklyn. <laughs> the lonely tree. And were you saying that you were? Um, Oh, for, your, for the other comments, you were going along yes. with what they were saying? Okay, so I'll add that. Okay. Any other comments, Commissioner? Mm -hmm. No, I do not. Okay. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Nemec? Comments? I, I agree with the other comments. Um, w was it talked about before why the cove lighting was at the 3,000K instead of the 2,700K? Cove lighting was 2,700, wasn't it? No, it was 3,000. No, it says 3,000, and I think it, which it contradicts his note, because his note says all exterior lighting needs to be at 2,700K if you spec the 3,000K for this. Huh. Where is that? On E100. E100? Yeah, under the general notes, it says all exterior fluorescent lamps shall be at 2,700K. Well, there aren't any exterior fluorescent lamps, are they? No. That's probably some probably boiler general. plate yeah, from exactly. another project. Um, Wayne, my feeling about that is it's illuminating artwork, and so it's more appropriate to be uh, 3,000K, I think. The 2,700K will make blues washed out and stuff, and I think it'll render that better. So that's my feeling why I wasn't opposed to it. Okay. Um, all right. Does that, does that satisfy? Do you enough to go with the spec as submitted? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay. Um, the rest of the stuff, um, I think it should be the basket weave pattern going through. Um, garage light and lighting, are you? Uh, fine with the with what was suggested. Yeah. Um, How's the suggestion? The concrete color's fine. And um, <coughs> go with cyberspace. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> May the force be with you. <laughs> One more thing. Regarding this tree, since it's the only tree, I'd like the soil to be dug out and replaced with something more substantial as if there's a one hole in a project, most of the drainage and all the, all the strips and everything else get thrown into that, and therein lies the problem as far as the tree. Yeah, and I, I, I think the good news there, if I may, Mr. Chair, just quickly Not reply. Picky, but it's only one tree. You know, the, this whole, I mean, this, this area now has this temporary ramp, and it's basically already somewhat of a, of a hole in the ground. So I think there's going to be a lot of over-excavation that's going to happen here in preparation for the okay, work. I mean, so paint gets thrown in there, things get well, washed out, et cetera, et cetera, so... So your, your spec on that was the soil dug out and replaced? Well, just more attention to be given it. You mean it would be both, both selecting a specific specimen to get as large a tree as possible and ensure that the soil and I conditions... I you want a standard there unless you want a multiple. You didn't 
I think it just indicated the standard. I think that's what Martha indicated. Okay. Although I think a multiple would be nicer, but that's up to you. Well, also, the thing about olive trees is that um, they can take um, root scarring better than other trees. So if you find a bigger tree that could fit in there, but the box is maybe slightly too big, it could take a little of that. They're very easily movable trees. So. Well, I'm certainly open. T I mean, I agree the multiple trunk would be a nicer looking. I think it would be a more exciting tree. I agree with that, too. Okay, so, so why don't we just condition that as part of the yeah, yeah, that's multiple trunk? Okay. All right. Um, all right. Mr. Nemec, any more? Would you say, Wayne? No, I, I agree with all yeah. that. Okay. All right. And then, not last but not least, Commissioner <laughs> Drury. Um, thank you. Um, I, I like the color of the plaza. I agree with uh, Commissioner Mahan's uh, defense of his project, <laughs> and I think that I think that the idea of having. Um, a different pattern going up into the plaza is absolutely essential. I think the, I think the uh, second uh, black that was shown, the smaller version, is, is proper. And uh, let's see, I like the reduction. I believe it's a reduction of lighting on the garages. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. There's a yeah, from four, from six from to four. four. Right there we yeah. go. Okay. Um, I agree with the uh, with Commissioner Nemec's um, suggestion about the tree. And what else? Well, I will say this, as I'm really pleased. I, I walk through that plaza a couple times a week, creeping about town as I do, and, and it's going to be a really nice looking thing, finally. You know, it's not all <laughs> cobbled together like the Balkans. It's, yeah. it's terrific. Yeah. Balkanization. I'm very, I'm very pleased. Thank you. All right, Mr. Van. Uh, one more thing. Notably, many times hose bibs are left off and the areas need rinsing, washing off, or what have you. I don't know whether you've included Hose bibs were built into the wall so they'd be protected, and not abused, and so forth. But you may consider that you may want some hose bibs sometime or another just to clean, hose off, freshen up the area, whatever the case may be. Conserving water, of course, but. Pardon me? I thought we found, I thought we I thought we found the hose bib somewhere. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't see it, but just to bring her. Well, I, I agree because uh -huh. Rahelio and I talked about that, and we I I think we need to have a I mean a keyed hose bib, right? <clears throat> you find it's it? not shown. Well, these two symbols, but the ships <coughs> in my air. And, and auxiliary electrical connections, different places in this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and then for. Uh, my own comments, um, I agree with the other commissioners on everything said. Um, the only um, additional point I would say was, would be with the lighting, uh, with the, the swag lighting. Um, I, I think we have, even though we're evolving, um, we haven't evolved. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think we can, uh, in my mind, I can make, we can make a special exception on the, in this case because of the particular tightness of the Paseo and the fact that you don't really see it off of State Street and it really is tucked back and it's also, you know, narrow and safety issues. So for though, and, and art, but, um, but really it's uh, because it's such a particular unique um, con uh, condition that it makes it so that it, we're not filling the whole city with um, string lights before we're okay with it or okay with the design, and especially the, because it's bare bulb as well, which we have um, been very down on, um, especially lately. So um, unprecedented setting. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's why I'm making all the reasons for why this is not a precedent setting um, move in, in my mind. And I don't know if other commissioners feel I agree. Uh, similar I agree. about it. Well, one but, other comment, Mr. Chair. Yes. Well, what, what about the mural? Who, 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 who designs the mural? Um, I should let Karen maybe come up and explain yes. where they are on the mural selection and the artists. All right. This is Karen You're Rager. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, we have selected the artists. It went, we went through a process and had 15 different um, proposals that we reviewed. Oh, thank you. We, um, and um, they are experienced in doing large-scale exterior murals. And the design that you see here is 
um, from their renderings um, that they submitted in okay. their proposal. I want to assure you that we are concerned about graffiti. The Granada Theater is going to be maintaining the, the, the murals. And so that is the graffiti, anti graffiti coding is part of the project. Okay, great. Mr. Chair? You? Yes, Commissioner. Mayor. We have an art advisory committee. And um, I think it would be good if the artist and the art and our art advisory committee, which is Drury and House, uh, could meet just so we make sure that, that everybody's on the same page with the mural. Would that be okay with you? Um, and just a reminder, we have a separate permit application process that we'll be going through with that. For so that. so we'd be happy to, to talk to so, those so, folks. So staff, I think it would be important that, the, that our, our, our art advisory committee would be able to weigh in on that. Is that okay, Mr. Chair? Yes. Agreed. Thank, thank you. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Clarify. As, as far as we are able to, in whatever the, our appropriate Always capacity is, is. Absolutely 100% as far as we are <laughs> able to. <Yeah. laughs> I just want to clarify that the artwork shown there, I have some notes specific, specifying that it's under a separate permit. It's only shown there for reference. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah. Okay. Mr. Sure. Chair. Very good. Uh, thank you. Commissioner Drury? Are you able to uh, tell the names of the, uh, the artists who have been chosen? It is Tracy Lee um, Mitra and um, I'm sorry, Tracy and Sayak. Um, I'm forgetting their last names. I'm sorry, here, here in but town. but they're here local. They're based out of Ventura, but do, have done work in Santa Barbara. Good. Right. Good. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to be. I'd like to at least vet. It. <clears throat> yeah. In fact, we had a and conference call with them, and they were in New Jersey at some at, yes, art installation case. that they were doing. So they're doing and work nationally. Good. Great. And we, we did have, as part of the vetting process and selection process for those artists, we did have Sarah York Rubin, who was with the, um, um, the city and co county's um, Office of Arts and Culture. And um, we also um, included um, James Main from James Main Art and Nathan Vonk, who is the owner of Sullivan Goss Art Galleries, as part of our um, uh, review of those uh, proposals and, and the artist's work. And right. they were unanimous in the selection of the artists well, that well, we've chosen. Well, this brings up a point, Mr. Chair, because I'm, I'm on the Arts Advisory Committee, and there's been no meetings. And all those people you mentioned are also on the Advisory Committee. Sarah York Rubin certainly has my number, though I've never heard anything about this. And that needs to, that needs to change, because I have the Advisory Committee if there's never called. So I, I really want to be involved. Okay. And, and, uh, and maybe that's also a, a, a question with process for staff and so how. Mr. Chair, we're kind of deviating from the project. I would just say when this application um, starts moving forward, as far as the mural is concerned, um, we'll involve the two members of the HLC okay. that are on that committee. Great. Thank you. All right. I have one last comment. Yes, Commissioner Vina. You know, we have one tree here. And I love the symmetry Can of the whole. Can you give me the uh, page number? Oh, page number L2.1. Would it be possible to have another olive tree opposite from this entry here so that we'd have some balance to the whole thing as opposed to just... All right, I'm still trying to find it. L2. L2.1. It's at the no, very... The very last. Well, it's not the very oh, last, there, we go. there you go. Okay, so you're talking about... In other words, I'm looking to see if we could get another tree right here. I mean, the problem, the problem that we've got, and it's kind of illustrated in that rendering I did on the cover sheet, is that we're going to be potentially putting a bus and a, and a truck, just one right next to the other right there. Okay. And so I would really worry about that tree being in the way. Because you're going to, you know, in order, we have to leave that path of travel open. Right, for the garages and for the neighbors. So we basically have two narrow parking spaces yeah, okay, for those buses yeah. and trucks. Well, we're yeah. obviously going to have the same thing at the corner of this one with, with the multiple tree, multiple trunk tree. Well, but the trucks aren't going to be, they aren't going to be operating. You know, these are going to be more passenger vehicles coming through here. But the trucks and, and buses, you know, they will be making this kind of maneuvering. Do you have the uh, plan with them them on it? Yes, uh, I believe A one hundred A shows the the part uh, graphically with the semi truck uh, extent to be. So, 
Oh, uh, maybe E100. Yeah, there it is. There. Okay. So you're saying is, you know, they're going to be. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing here, right? So they'll be they'll be cutting that corner. Cutting that corner. Okay. To, to get out. Okay. I just so that would be the reason. I mean, I appreciate the the point. Is there a or something? No, the last bollard is right there. That's why that's why we stopped the bollard at yeah, that because point. Yeah, take out half the truck as they went by. Right. Okay. I was just okay. trying to. <clears throat> Sounds with a bit more charm. Okay, um, so let, let me try to summarize where we are on these pieces. Um, so, uh, item one was provide warmer concrete tone for the private area, and that was I heard unanimous acceptance of the proposed color, which is San Jose Buff. San Jose Buff. Um, return. The, uh, another item was item four. Return with specifications for the cove lighting and. I heard unanimous acceptance for the cove lighting, including its a temperature at 300 Kelvin. 3,000. Or 3,000. <laughs> I got the K right. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> um, uh, Kelvin. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> by item five was return with alternate designs for string lighting, including raised poles. And um, it seemed that as long as it's uh, conditioned at 2,700 Kelvin or less, um, the String lights, at, per, as proposed, were accepted, acceptable, um, and with uh, agreement as well that this was a unique case that warranted. Um, it made sense that there were string lights and not not uh, covered as as um, as they are submitted was was acceptable, um, which is unusual. <laughs> um, item five, or sorry, item six was the interior lighting the garage. Um, uh, it was accepted as proposed, except for um, four lights per garage instead of six um, were, uh, is the condition to, to lessen the, each garage by two lights. Um, and um, let's see, the color of the black paint um, was an, the, an alternate of Sherman Williams. It's been seven, taken away, but seven zero seven six. Seven zero seven six um, was cyberspace. Cyberspace was the alternate um, alternate black um, that that we're, is approvable, and then the paving pattern as submitted uh, in the location submitted with the with the design as submitted was ex was was found not just acceptable but preferable, and the HLC was also unanimous in not wanting the paving pattern. Uh, or pavers change from the state st on the state street under the state street pergola. Um, the uh, in terms of the landscaping, the tree um, on in the, in the corner of the garbage shed, we'll say a a sheet a one zero zero b in the um, I guess it would be. You should probably refer to the landscape plan, Mr. Yeah, Chair. Yeah, that's, that's right? a so good point. L. Um, L2.1, that, that tree, which is called OH. L2.1. Oh, yeah. Okay, so on sheet L2.1, uh, the tree OH2 um, is to be uh, minimum 36, to be as, as large and in multi trunk as possible, with 36 inch being the minimum box size. Exactly. Um, and the soil is to be dug out and replaced. Um, and care is to be taken so that it is not um, that the, how would you say, the, um, in, during construction that the, um, that the, the whole. The tailings and so on. So yeah, the, the, the construction debris is not put into the hole and that fresh soil is put in. Um, and then there was concern about hose bibs. Um, their location, so we, we I brought that provide, hose, yeah, bibs. provide hose bibs. Um, I guess without without as, as necessary. Yeah, as necessary. We'll say there might be a, a certain number they have to provide anyways. Um, all right, I think that covers it. Is there any other um, what items? Question? Yes. What? Do you have uh, fire protection? Is there hydrants nearby or within that area? None, re none required? No. No, no not there. No. Uh, we know that the garage is going to be fire sprinkler. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. Those uh, comments, Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion for a final approval. Second. Okay, uh, and I have a motion by Mayhan, second by House, under discussion. Um, are there any things on here? So I think there's everything can be approved with those, um, with those conditions. Okay, great. Um, any other discussion? All right, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Thank you. Motion you got it. I'll try never to be the only applicant. <laughs> 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 yeah. We well, only expand the to fill the available But since time. we still have two hours. <laughs> yeah. Wait, let's go back to sheet. <laughs> I let's Tell me what you think yeah. about my shirt. <laughs> motion for a reconsideration. Right. So with that, anything else? Yeah, Otherwise, motion for a reconsideration. <laughs> um, Mr. Chair, you, you need to announce the All appeal right. period. Oh, yes. And so there's a 10-day appeal period to city council. All right. With that. We will close the first Happy meeting of HLC for the new year. Thank you. <laughs> Coffee break. Thank you. 